Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap from Tuesday, June the 2nd. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. This is a link for our free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free trading room. I open the room uh, 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock Eastern Time. And 9 o'clock obviously in the morning to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday to Fridays. I share my screen and I'm live on the mic. In the email you're getting, you will see a promo code for 1515% off either the first month only or the entire year of a Trade Idea subscription. All right, well, I had a very, I'm gonna show you the trade afterwards. I just wanna show you this news trade, uh, K, uh, K, <laughs> uh, GNUS. This actually uh, came from both my watch list, right there, 324, got as high as uh, 378, but it also came from the AI. AI was a little bit later than me. It uh, was at 339. You can see it right there. I actually traded this twice. I got into it at uh, 331 early. It's, now listen, this is not easy because look at all the topping tails and bottoming tails on it. So the first time I got in, I made a little bit of money. I think I was in at 331. I got out some at 342. Then I got and then I, I closed it out at 331. But I waited on it again, and I think the AI alert came in around 11.18. That was, uh, you know, this is uh, after my alert uh, from my watch list. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and uh, I finally got in again at right around, it was, three, it was three, four, uh, 348. It was really toying with the idea of waiting for that 350 break, but it looked like it was just holding well. And then I definitely got rewarded. Uh, uh, actually, it was right there. I'm sorry, it was on that candle. And then it uh, took the trade right here around 348. And I took some out just, what did I get out? Just underneath 360 in case it couldn't break. And then it zoomed higher. And then, I mean, but look how erratic that th this is. And I got out the balance at around 372. So, I mean, it was, it was an okay trade. I mean, certainly on a percentage basis uh, from 349 to 372 on the part I had left. Definitely, I think that's about 7%. So very, very nice. But, you know, a little bit erratic. I mean, and it still is. Um, you know, I wouldn't, <laughs> I, it wasn't the easiest thing to watch when I got in because it was moving from 349 down to 342, up back up to 349. And, you know, it, it was, it, this is not a super low floater. It's about 23 million in the float, which is very low. But um, anyway, it worked out. Do want to point out one thing though. You know, look where the AI got out of the trade. At 3:52. Now there was the alert at 3:50 at 3:39. So again, as I say in the room, if you're a trader, you can't let something like that happen. In my opinion, maybe it probably looks better on a, on a five-minute chart. You see, when you get that sort of action, and you're in, you know, at 3:39, and you're watching it go all the way up to 3:78. And then you get that. You can't let it go all, you can't let it slide down to 353 before you get out, in my opinion. You know, you have to take some out here. And that's why I'm, or I'm always saying anyway, you know, people want to auto trade the AI. I, I don't auto trade the AI. Uh, but I guess if, you, if you're bound and determined that you wanted to auto trade the AI, you maybe consider the entries, but I would be definitely managing the exits as, as, as the trade moves along. That, that would be my opinion. And again, if you wanted to auto trade the AI, you need our premium service, plus you have to buy Brokerage Plus, a one-time licensing fee of $1,100, uh, minus whatever discount there is. Uh, licensing, fee, licensing fee in that if you decide you want to stop trading for a while and you un unsubscribe, but then you come back, uh, Brokerage Plus is still waiting there for you. So I just really wanted to go over this uh, news trade. I also wanted to talk about this ARMH trade that I took in the pre-market. Where is it? Um, or is it AMRH? There we go. <laughs> AMRH. So this is kind of kind of interesting because uh, at 9.05, I mean, I open the room at 9 o'clock and then I start getting live on the mic at 9.05. And just as I, you know, what happened is I took this trade and it, listen, it was very extended, obviously, but I like the way it was holding over four. It had some news, you know, to, that I thought maybe could sustain it, something to do with cannabis and brain cancer, okay? And so I ended up taking this trade right at, um, 
No, it was right there, sorry. It was right there at 389 before the break. Sold some right here at 429, and then I sold some up in this area I got out. Uh, I, mi I missed the absolute high, but what a move. This was, and I did all this in the pre-market actually. So I actually missed the open. Uh, my opening of the room, because uh, normally I open the, the room when I, I get live on the mic uh, at 9.05 and I had I was so excited about this trade that I couldn't do it then. So that really set the tone for the day for me and uh, so I really didn't have to do too much after that. I don't typically, if I trade in the pre-market, usually it's a lot earlier in the pre-market, you know, around 8 o'clock, maybe 7.30, 8 o'clock, but this was definitely late. But I just saw that, I thought, you know what, okay, why don't I just see what happens, the news look good. And um, in fact, let me bring this on the, on the five minute chart. Let me show it a little bit better. Yeah. That's right, I'm sorry, this was on a three break. <laughs> what am I saying, it was on a three break, not the four break, that's what confused me. So on the three break, then it zoomed up here, and then I got out the balance here. So I, did, I missed that huge move, but I was very happy. That's right, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I wanna get back into the room, so I'm gonna shut this down. So if you have any questions for me, again, you can use this email address, and there's a link for the free room. I will open the room tomorrow at nine o'clock, and I hope to see you then, bye-bye.